Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to The Road Warrior. One of the hassles of doing this every week is my old GoPro camera that I used to record these things. It's, I guess they're up to GoPro 8 or 9 or something. I don't even keep track anymore. Maybe up to 10. And I'm still using a 3 Plus or something like that. It's still a usable camera. It still shoots good video. But the one problem, batteries. It now burns through batteries all the time. And actually, you know, when I do four or five of these at a time, if I do them all in a cluster, I'm doing it for a half an hour maybe. And it now takes me more than one battery, sometimes two batteries, to get these things done. I had to find a battery, which of course you can only buy them on the black market now. But it got me to thinking, the one thing that drives me crazy is I'll be shooting a video and all of a sudden I'll look down and it's gone. No lights flashing on the camera, no video screen on the, on the little iPhone anymore showing me the, the, you know, what's going on. Done. No warning. Same thing with pretty much any batteries that die. You know, your, your, your television remote doesn't warn you when the batteries are dying. I, I mean, I guess your iPhone technically warns you. It's got that little number up in the top right-hand corner. you got to pay attention to it. And it will warn you at 10% battery left or whatever it is that the battery's about to die. But most batteries, no warning. Especially your AA's and your AAA's and your 9 volts and your C batteries and all those kinds of things. And i got to think it wouldn't be too hard. In fact, in the little battery pack I use for the, the little, you know, lavalier microphone I use for this, it comes a little square battery pack, it uses a, a AA battery. And even on the AA batteries, there's the little bar, if you will, to tell you how good, how strong the battery still is. And you put your finger at one point and the other point, and you press it, and the little, you know, meter goes up, and it kind of tells you if you're in the, the red or the yellow or the green kind of thing. It gives you an idea of how your batteries are. But there is no warning ahead of time. There is no chime. There is no something that could tell you that a battery is dying and it drives me crazy. I know we're, we're thinking in terms of batteries, we're talking about automobiles and we're talking about you know big batteries and we're talking about being able to drive 500 miles on batteries and things like that. But I would literally just settle for a warning system in a battery so you know when it's gonna die, so you know when it's gonna fail, so you know when you gotta stop what you're doing and not waste your time or change your batteries or whatever. I mean, I know it's a dream. What's a battery cost? A couple bucks? I use rechargeables all the time anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now, I know there are expensive batteries, like in my GoPro. That was a, you know, $20, $30 battery, maybe even $40 battery when they were first new, and now you can get them on the black market for 20 bucks. But still, you'd hope it lasts more than a half an hour. It, it, it's the, you know, if I could figure out how to hardwire the camera in, uh, we'd be doing videos all the time, and you'd never get any sleep. Back next week, another Road Warrior video, KevinMason.us. All the Road Warrior videos there on our homepage. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by this week. Time's running out. I think my battery's getting low. We'll see you next week. Thanks.